stay tuned. But you want a well-balanced fertilizer, meaning that while it's in bloom, because that's what we're talking about, you want something high in nitrogen, okay? And that's going to be your first number on the 20-20-20 or the 10-10-10, what so have you, okay? And the rest of it is very balanced. So it's going to give you an all-in-all good um, phalaenopsis that will rebloom for you, okay? Welcome one and welcome all to the People's Channel, darling. Welcome to Orchids for Dummies, baby. Now in today's video, I will be teaching you how to water a Phalaenopsis Orchid that is in bloom, foul pals. All right, stay tuned. Get in on the action. If you're too shy to type on here, I have a Facebook group called Foul Pals. I will leave that information in the description box below. Also, foul pals, I want you to know that I did a video on NPK, which is going to let you know what type of fertilizer that you need for each and every individual orchid. We're only talking about orchids in bloom. Alrighty, foul pals, so below I have a gallon of tap water, and the reason I'm using tap water is because my phalaenopsis is in bloom, nothing is wrong with it. So as long as you're using the tap water, and you're using a well-balanced fertilizer because these two numbers right here are low, it's going to be perfectly fine for you to use this only with your um, phalaenopsis with tap water. So in the orchid community, we believe in saying something called weekly weekly, which means that you're going to use a very low dose weekly. Now, I would not recommend that because we've been talking about NPK and urea and things of that such. Now, remember, you want to use the minimum amount on the package because you want your phalaenopsis to be safe than sorry, okay? Don't learn from my mistakes. Now, foul pals, you also want to remember that your um, water should never look dark or anything less than just some regular water because that's the only thing that your Phalaenopsis in bloom needs is that um, nitrogen, okay? Now, that those of us that are growing our Phalaenopsis orchid in something like bark or something that is non-decomposable, you would want to use something that is high in nitrogen, but that's a whole different video, okay? Now, this beautiful cup came with this Phalaenopsis orchid. This is the only amount of water that you would use. Okay, you see they say water responsibly and to use warm water only. So the only thing you want to do and see is how do I water my Phalaenopsis orchid? Okay. Well, I have you here. It says three ounces. So I also have a measuring cup. I'm going to put three ounces in. And remember to use warm water, meaning that the... um the water that you would use um, to wash your hair, okay, foul pals? So, make sure not to get any in the crown. Let me give you a close-up, darling. Okay, this is gonna be the crown of the Phalaenopsis orchid. You wanna make sure not to get any water up in here, okay? Because it can give you a lot of bad problems, okay? Just like that, foul pals, that was enough water, okay? Just as the instructions stated, okay? And I'm gonna let it sit in the sink for about five minutes to let it completely drain. And at, I don't know if you saw that, but as you saw that water came out, so in case you did get any water inside of the crown, you would get a paper napkin and I will show you how. Pal, pal, so yes, we got a little water in the crown. Orchids for dummies, you know things happen. So in the event that that would happen, you would get you a paper towel, okay? The edge of the paper towel is what you are going to insert into the crown. And all it's going to do is absorb any water. See, all you have to do is just place it down there. It's not gonna do anything, okay? And it's just gonna suck the water up. Now, darling, 
If you love this video and you want to see more, you want to be a part of a community that actually welcomes you, that responds to your messages, join my Facebook group called Foul Pals. Talk to someone in the comment box below and make sure to subscribe. I thank you so much for tuning in, Foul Pals. Until next time.